If you've ever seen America's Funniest Home Videos, you know the name of Vin DeBona. I've known Vinny for a good number of years. He was in Japan one time watching some Japanese television programs and there was one show that looked like it kind of had animals in a candid camera kind of format. He thought I could buy the footage of those funny animals, bring them back to America, put them in a celebrity panel show and I'd have a hit series. So he went to the Japanese network. They said yes, he could have an option as long as he took along the elements in this other show. It was a home movie show over there. He had no idea what he'd do with that, but he thought, okay, I'll take it anyway. So Vinny came back to America and he started pitching the show he called Animal Crack Ups. And he pitched it and he pitched it. Over and over again, he heard the word no. 136 times and he was turned down 136 times. Now you might ask, why didn't he call his old friend Squire? Well, I was also running children's television at ABC at the time, and Vinny was thinking, this is not a kid's show that he had. He was pitching an adult show, so he never bothered calling on me. But he thought, I'm running out of options, I better try. Now he didn't know that at the time, I was in one of those kind of corporate tug of wars. Rune Arledge, who was the head of ABC Sports, called a meeting with our mutual boss to complain that my children's programs were leading into his wide world of sports with children. Who knew that? And he had an idea that if he could produce a show with kid and adult appeal for the last half hour of my schedule, that would be a win-win situation. I didn't like that idea at all. As I walked back to my office, I thought I better come up with a kid adult program or I'm in trouble. I'm gonna lose that half hour. And here's the God wink. I walked into my office and the phone was ringing. Vinny, how you doing? Then he started telling me about animal crack ups. Sounded like a perfect kid adult program to me. And then I said, great, let's do it. There was a pause on the phone. He said, you mean you want to do a pilot? I said, no, let's do 13 half hours. That was the Godwink that put Vin DeBona on the path to becoming a network producer. But here was the best news. He had access into ABC. He could walk down the hall and pitch the other show to prime time in one six minute meeting. It was called America's Funniest Home Videos.